So good morning guys. I just finished my seven nights straight and yes, that was not too bad. And finally, I can take some off for a week. It's now Monday, um, it's 8 o'clock in the morning and it's 4 degrees Celsius outside, so it's a bit cold. So normally before I go to sleep, I usually have my breakfast. So for today, we're going to have this rasher and this egg. We're going to do some fried egg. By the way, in Ireland, we call that one rashers, but in English, we call that one your bacon. So lately, I'm not really that keen of going out. It's because of a few reasons. Uh, number one, it's so cold outside now. It's winter time. And the second one is the roads, the footpaths are very slippery. So it's kind of like you're walking on an ice skating rim. It's a bit dangerous for yourself, which I haven't tried skating before, but I think it's the feeling like. It's so, the roads are frosty and icy. And the third one, is the COVID-19 cases in Ireland that is continue rising for the past few days. And in fact, just yesterday, we had 4,962 cases. So the typical breakfast of an Irish is rashers, bacon, sausage, fried egg, and pudding. But since we're Filipino, we're gonna mix it with rice instead of having all those sorts. So yeah, let's enjoy our food. So December 26 was actually the date when the government of Ireland announced the next lockdown. I think this is our third time that we're having a full lockdown restriction because of the COVID-19. Yeah, at least we enjoyed a few days before Christmas. But I think, I don't know, but some people would say, I mean like for me as well, it was actually a bad move because at the time our cases were like 340 plus only but after the Christmas Eve after you know the lockdown was was imposed now we have 4,000 cases and that's basically like 10 days ago so yeah it was spreading out really quick and as well um, now the government is actually extending the lockdown from January until the last date of the month maybe February will be the first will be the last day of it but yeah it's it's been depressing to be honest like we've been on lockdown on and off on and off and you know that feeling like you can't travel you can't you can't go out um, you can't meet much of your friends or even just travel around the county it's just because of this lockdown um, it's it's depressing should I say it's depressing in a way that you want to do a lot of things but you can't because of what's happening right now it's been like a couple of months that we're in the house um, confined limited you know that feeling like the depression setting in like it's not only affecting you physically but it's also emotionally like for me I, I haven't seen my fiance for nearly a year now because of this COVID and that is depressing but yeah you have to be again the bottom line is you have to be careful and you have to protect others so I just hope that you know everything will be sorted out it will take a little time but I think we can do it of course if I myself will do my part and yourself you will do yours to protect yourself and the others and at the end of the day yeah uh, we will be fine but for now, just gonna hold on, um, hang tight. It's just sad to say that some just really don't bother. But the good thing, of course, is just three or four days ago, Ireland rolled out the vaccination program. So like two days back, they've been starting to um, vaccinate people, especially those who are vulnerable and those who are healthcare providers. And in fact, I will get my own vaccine on Wednesday. But it doesn't mean that we have to chill out 
that we will just say oh yeah I got the vaccine I'm fine no it's it's actually not not, not like that because the vaccine would not work straight away um, it will need a second dose which will be given um, uh, three weeks after the first dose and yeah you still have to wear your mask you still have to uh, keep your distance social distancing um, in any way you can um, wash your hands use alcohol gel so despite the vaccine is there precautions you know needs to be in place I'm sure that you know the day will come that we'll be able to mingle again uh, meet friends and go out have a cup of coffee and you know have this long talks in the coffee shop and yeah just that free free type of um, person just go wherever you want travel so my advice is just really go out if you have to but if there's no need um, yeah stay at home watch Netflix or YouTube videos or whatever that will keep you busy so yeah it might not be that very soon but for sure it will come so thank you so much for watching maybe you will think I will go to bed and I will have my shower first and then I will sleep Finally, um, able to take a rest after a four, seven nights um, straight duty. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, yeah, my message is keep safe, keep safe, uh, protect yourself and protect your uh, others. So that's it for today, guys. It's just a short vlog, which uh, is really an update on what's happening here in Dublin. And I'll see you again next time. Thank you so much for watching. This is Harold. Peace out. Good evening guys, I just woke up, oh my god, it's 9 o'clock in the evening now. I don't know how I can go back to sleep with this, ah, uh, but anyway, yes, I had a good rest, I have a good sleep. Yeah, that is really the problem when you're working for 7 nights because your body clock is kind of messed up with the time, but what can we do? That's a call of duty, so what we're going to do now is we try our best to go back to sleep after having a good dinner tonight and yeah that should be okay isn't it and sometimes when I'm working on seven nights it kind of takes me two to three days before my body clock goes back to its normal cycle and then again that's that's part of being being a nurse because you can't you can't say like I want to work on days only you have to follow you know whatever scan is given to you and yeah work on it and just live with it but yeah thank you so much happy new year hopefully hopefully this will be a good year for us it should be a good year for us all right claim that i'll claim it we claim it bye bye it's deja vu oh, oh, oh. Remember when